10 diabetes convicted, faces jail. 10 diabetes, the rotational acting president of the Citizens Coalition for Change, has been found guilty of verbally assaulting Russian national and investor Tatiana Elishina in 2020. Bitti, a lawyer by profession, staunchly denied the allegations, contending that the charges against him did not constitute a criminal offense. The conviction stemmed from an incident at the Harare Magistrates Court, where a heated exchange of words occurred between Bitti and Elishina. According to a report by NewZimbabwe.com, Elishina, who was a witness in criminal cases, claimed that she and her colleague at Pakugara Properties Private Limited were victims of Bita's unsolicited verbal abuse and assaults, describing them as gross professional misconduct. Elishina detailed the incident, stating, While attending to these matters at Harare Magistrates Court, I and my colleague have been victims of Mr. Bita's unsolicited verbal abuse and assaults which amount to gross professional misconduct. It was clear to all people who were in the court gallery that Mr. Bita took delight not only in verbally abusing me but in trying to intimidate me. In her complaint, Elishina highlighted Bita's attempts to belittle her as a woman and a foreigner, alleging a violation of her rights. She claimed that Bita's conduct, including swearing, Shouting and pointing at her face constituted a clear act of verbal assault. Harare Magistrate Vongai Muchichuti, presiding over the case, emphasized the gravity of the situation, stating that individuals cannot be allowed to freely hurl derogatory terms at each other. She noted, What remains critical is that she went to receive medication. She was prescribed some medication although she refused to be admitted. It is not in dispute that the accused and complainant had a verbal altercation on the day in question and the accused called the complainant a stupid idiot. Magistrate Muchichuti acknowledged the evidence presented, emphasizing that Peter's actions were corroborated by multiple credible witnesses. She concluded that Peter's guilt had been established and stated, for those reasons, I find the accused person guilty. BT is scheduled to be sentenced at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, facing the prospect of a fine, a prison term of up to 10 years, or a combination of both. His legal representative, Alec Muchidihoma, has expressed the intention to appeal the conviction. The case underscores the challenges faced by opposition figures and highlights the broader implications of legal proceedings involving prominent political figures in the country. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.